Hi, this is Ben Masonheimer with Silver Seas Yachts, and today I'm going to walk you through a new listing. This is a 2000 Tierra 35 Open, or you could call it a 3500. It has gas engines. There's about 977 hours on them. Uh, but as you'll see when I get into the engine room, this thing is flawless. It's mainly been used as a Newport cruiser. In fact, it was ordered that way. So we're talking about a boat with two gas engines, no generator, and a power inverter. And this is a typical kind of boat from this era that mainly cruises the harbor and then blasts the Catalina every now and then. It is in great shape. This thing is shiny and um, I've been out and run it when we shot the drone video that I'll put a link to um, in the title description. And the thing just runs like a champ. It's in great shape and shows pride of ownership. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Like I said, if you look down the sides at the gel coat, a lot of shine on this boat stainless steel windless anchor. All of your bright work is in good condition. All of your hatches are in good condition. This is one of the great things about a TR. They just really hold together. A lot of other brands, these hatches here would be very pitted and they wouldn't look too good. This has the desirable option of a hard top and it has a Furuno radar on top. You have four rod holders. nice large swim step with integrated uh, swim ladder. As we come aboard the boat you'll notice they've done Infineon seagrass matting brand new this season. All the upholstery is brand new as well and it's done to a very high level. All the stitching is correct for this model. You have a raw water wash down in this area over here. Subwoofer down below the seating. Behind this seat, um, up above the, the backrest, you have a tray to hold your ice that drains out the side of the boat. Your ice maker is here on the other side, and there's a sink above it and cutting board. Here's your shore power outlet. And uh, you have a hot and cold water shower just behind that hatch there in the corner. As we move forward, you'll see once again, all of the seating is perfect. And you have lots of storage below this seat. You also have uh, under this bench seat in the back, the whole thing flips up and there's a huge storage locker underneath it. And then the seat rests actually flip up and there's storage underneath those as well. So you have two levels of storage, an upper level and a lower level. Here at the helm, everything's in good condition. All the gauges look perfect. None of them are corroded or pitted or, um, you know, hazy from sun. Um, you have your original radar there and then an updated um, color GPS. All this is Furuno. You have a Simrad Autopilot, ICOM VHF. And you know, everything is just in good condition. It's not pitted or destroyed in any way. Got a cup holder here. Courtesy lights all throughout the boat. It's just a great boat all in all. You have a vent, an electric vent here that opens this front windshield. All the Isinglass is newer. I would say it's about a year old and looks to be in good condition. You have a few extra rod holders here and here as well on either side. As we step down into the salon, you'll see we have nice teak stairs and a teak and holly floor. We have a very large sofa here on the starboard side um, and this is a very comfortable area to sit also this table goes down into a low position and there's a filler cushion that makes this into a bed and then the backrest across the way there that flips up and it hooks up underneath the cabinets and that becomes a Pullman berth and you have three storage cabinets in that area uh, there on the starboard side uh, you also have lots of storage underneath all of these seats um, under the stairs, you have access to your battery switches. It's a great area, so you don't have to go into the builds to find them or anything. They're just right there under the stairs. Here's your panel with storage down below it. Here in the V-berth, you have a hanging locker and storage again on this side. It's a very large bed. This is as wide. Uh, it's wider than a queen at its widest point and about as wide as a double at its uh, narrowest point. 
the whole bed flips up, this, this area right in front of me here, the base of the bed flips up on gas hydraulic hinges and there's tons of storage underneath there as well. In our galley we have uh, lots of storage here underneath, underneath the sink, two burner stove and um, a nice sink and faucet and then you have storage here to the right and then across the top. We have the original TV. Uh, this is a very easy thing to um, replace with a flat screen. Usually we do them on a fold out uh, mount so you can use all the storage behind it. We have a Novacool refrigerator freezer combo here. And here's our head. This has a vacuum flush porcelain toilet. Nice mirror in perfect condition. Our shower is over in this area. We have storage below. And we have a mirror here on the door. Okay, let's go take a look at these engines I was telling you about. They're in very good condition. Okay, here in our engine room, we have two 7.4 liter, 375 horsepower Crusader V8s, and these things are in very good nick. Um, if you look at the manifolds, you don't have any rust seeping out in the joints there. All your heat exchangers, same thing, you don't want any patina coming out of the end caps, and you don't have it. You have a macerator uh, valve set up here, very easy to access. Here's your other heat exchanger. From the looks of things, it looks like I'm looking at new plug wires and, you know, everything here is in good shape. Um, all these batteries uh, say West Marine on them, and those are looking to be very new. Fire bottle up front, automatic fire suppression, looks like I was saying, like new. And you just gotta love the Tierra craftsmanship. I mean, look at the underside of this hatch here. It's fully finished. What a great job they do. And uh, this boat's a real testament to the product because you know it just holds up so well. You have more batteries in this section and I believe those are for your power inverter system. And you also have a hatch here in the middle of the, the floor what would be the floor when this is down and that's for easy engine access without, without raising this whole thing up. You also have two lights in this area so if it's dark you can flip those on and see what you're doing. Okay that about wraps it up for this video. Uh, once again this is a 2000 Tierra 35 open. It's always lived in Southern California. It's in great condition. Lots of storage. Uh, great for Newport cruising, great for fishing, great for going to Catalina. Um, it's listed for $139.9. It has 977 hours on it. It's in very good condition for its year. If you're interested in this boat, please give me a call at 619-800-3491 or you can email me at bigboatbin at gmail.com. If you liked this video, please subscribe to my channel. I have new boat videos coming out all the time. Uh, if you look in the description for this video, you'll find a link to its Yacht World listing with more information. And also, I will put a link to the video we shot of this boat offshore with the uh, Phantom drone. It turned out really well. I think you'll like it.